group of civil societies say Nigeria is losing more than $600 million due to the underreporting of gas flood. They are calling on regulatory agencies in the oil and gas sector to ensure the volume of gas being flood are accounted for. Esther Mokpariola reports. Research has shown that flood gases emit a mix of carbon dioxide, methane and black soot, which pollutes the air and accelerate global warming. And Nigeria still ranks among the top 10 gas flaring countries. However, it's adopted an economic strategy to end gas flaring by increasing penalties on companies flaring gas. But there are suspicions that the volume of gas being flared are underreported, which goes against the country's regulatory policy. Uh, our advocacy is very clear. We're saying that this discrepancy should end. You know, it should end. And we're not asking for tomorrow. All we're just asking, and all, what Parliament has done recently is so direct that uh, the relevant agencies should bring all the sources of data together, crunch them, and come up with what is actually the appropriate uh, volume that is being fled. And that is the way to go. When we talk of issues of climate change, uh, women mostly are mostly affected by this. And this is why issues of gas flare really affect everybody in Nigeria. Because if the, 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 the money being generated from the gas flare is to work for all Nigeria, then the north, the south, the east, everybody will really be uh, enjoying the benefit of that. Meanwhile, the federal government agency, Nostra, says it is adopting a tool to ensure the country knows what is happening in the oil fields and enforce environmental compliance in the oil and gas sector. What will happen if the gas flare tracker is promoted is that government is able, the federal government of Nigeria is able to know the exact volumes of gas that is being flared is also able to compute CO2 emissions that is coming from gas flaring and also able to have a clear uh, view about the estimate or the values of the gas that has been flared and also the monetary uh, penalties that is associated with, uh, I mean, uh, violating the rule or the regulation around gas flaring. Experts here say the proper utilization of gas in the country will ensure an effective energy transition plan and the country's pledge to cut down carbon emissions by 2060. Estama Pariola, TVC News, Lagos.